Hey guys, this is Rishikesh Kauli and welcome back to another S4 HANA video. So, topic for this video is how to create a material type in S4 HANA system. Okay, uh, so for that we'll be using SPROT code. So, let's go with that. Yeah, so uh, we have SPRO. Okay, so this is all for all configuration purpose T code. So, we are in here. Now we have to go to logistic general then the material master then 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 what we have is basic settings then material type and then define attribute of material types okay so this is the screen where we actually uh, create a material type and make changes in material type as per our requirement so usually what happens uh, SAP has already provided did the standard material types almost they have covered uh, each and every type of material uh, but in case uh, we have to make some changes in that in the standard one so what we usually do we don't touch the configure standard configuration or that material type and we create a new material type with uh, maybe with the initial of Z uh, it is not a mandatory thing that you should add Z but Z is something like uh, whatever uh, you are creating in the system which is custom that you should start with Z so that uh, every new consultant or anyone comes new to the system can understand it better so now we uh, and usually uh, we copy the standard uh, things like material type which we'll standard we'll copy the standard material type and create the new one uh, the Z1 and then that we can make any changes as per our requirement so we'll just go to position and we'll find out like we are knowing it like it is uh, Z Z R O H. this is this one is the standard document type from SAP now we have to like select it and go here this is to like copy copy as means we'll be just copying uh, this material type and creating a new with this reference just we need to add the material type description and uh, main initials of material type so now material type it was zroh we are changing it to suppose z r a w uh, if there is like it already exists we will not able to create the same and we need to change the like initials for that so now we have the option for description now what we can select we can select anything but it is for raw material so we'll keep the main thing like raw material and then we will add uh, suppose it is kb like kavle brothers we have created the company code and plan so we'll make it as kb now the material type is a client specific thing it will not change by plant it will be at a client like in each and every uh, company code you will be using the same zrew uh, material type and the same number range for every uh, like plant okay so here it is like Z draw KB we have just added you can add anything now there are many fields and we are not going to discuss each and every because many uh, depend on the uh, industry specific requirements so now we'll discuss the basic what are needed to create a material type okay so now this is a field reference so field reference is something like uh, whenever you are creating a material type you have multiple fields and uh, if you want to make changes in field changes is like hide it or make it mandatory or uh, make it an optional field in that case you have to like make changes in this uh, field reference which is ROH we'll be working on this like how to make changes in field reference that is not an issue I, there will be a separate video for that okay so this one is a major like important field then we'll just go to this one like internal external purchase order so external purchase order uh, i'll click here and we we always have an option for this like magnifying glass and we can click on it we'll get uh, like options what we are having now we have 0, 1, 2. What is 0? 0 is no external purchase order allowed. Means for this material type, we'll be not able to create a purchase order. Okay, we can't procure it from outside. The second is external purchase order allowed, but warning issue. There will be a just orange color warning. 
and you will be not uh, you will just it, it will be a warning and you can just neglect it and create a purchase order and the last option like two is for external purchase order allowed so you can there will be no restriction or no warning for purchasing the creating a purchase order and create uh, procuring it from outside so that is it it is to an internal purchase order it, it is for the production order so it is seem like if you cannot create if you can create with warning and uh, internal purchase order allowed like easily like without any restriction so this is for production order okay so there is one more thing like <clears throat> valuation what type of valuation uh, do we have for this material so uh, like material type it is v or s v is like moving average and s is standard price so we'll be discussing this both the things in the, while the time of material master uh, Mm, creation video so usually the all whatever we are procuring from outside is uh, with V uh, because the prices are different and we are going to buy it and get it into our inventory and S is something like which is produced inside our company uh, inside our plant uh, and we also maintain it for costing okay uh, so we'll be discussing this for further in the material master thing and then okay nothing else down there now we have this thing which is a very important thing like which views you want for your material master like this uh, what we have Z R A W. so I don't need work scheduling I need accounting yes classification okay I need it for batch or something like that then MRP uh, yes I need it purchasing I need production resource tool I don't need it costing no I don't need it basic yes storage yes forecast no quality yes warehouse no I don't have warehouse management so I, I'll, I'll be not taking that so what more options we have just we'll take a drop down like sales we have here where is that okay sales we don't need it plant stocks okay storage location stocks okay okay so okay okay Th this thing is done now now we can uh, uh, product costing indicator appropriate only with the status cost okay leave it it's a warning message so we don't need to consider and after this oh sorry after this we have a option to where is the option I'll just click here and apply okay 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 okay, okay. Uh, so we had one field okay this is number of dependent entries copied means there are multiple settings or configurations like 248 things uh, which are copied from our original SAP standard raw material uh, material type so I'll just click on okay now this is that one which we have created I will ju just select it and I will go to this screen okay so here we will set R A W okay so this one is okay now we can see here this is the valuation area for each and every valuation area what is our configuration like quantity update value update quantity update is like when you want something in your stock you need to have this ticked okay and value update is when you are going to maintain the value of any material with this material type in your stocks in your uh, yeah stocks or in your like finance that time you need to tick this and that's it just now we need to select maybe I, I we need to check this out here so we have an option or how it is like we'll go to valuation area maybe it is kv 0 0 and z r a w i'll just click here it is kb uh, kb 0 1 word which is our plan so yes we need a quantity and value update for that and we'll save it okay 
so this is the way how we create a material type there are two like there will be uh, two more videos like uh, after this we need to uh, assign it to a valuation class with account reference category so we have the valuation class creation video and the account reference category assignment for both of this valuation class and material type video so that uh, you can also see that both videos so you will get a proper idea that how the material type valuation class works and yeah anything for, for like personal online training and industrial training or end user training you can just connect with me and yes don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you